How's it going, my gamers? Welcome back to the devlog. In the last video, I had finally gotten around to implementing pathfinding in my game. For those who haven't been up to date with the devlogs, this just means the enemies could finally walk around walls, preventing the issue of enemies not walking around walls. Well, after that video, I got to work implementing the pathfinding in the game for the charger enemy. <laughs> you know, the charger enemy. The enemy I spent multiple videos on, <laughs> well, well, he works now. Implementing pathfinding into the enemy did take a little bit of, um, trial and error. The main issue was that the enemy needed to have his collider enabled. However, the pathfinding system I was using assumes that the enemies only take up one individual point on the grid, even though they tend to take up closer to two. My solution was to add a height check for the pathfinding system, which just tells it to disregard grid points that are too close in proximity to a wall to use for a path. Now we have the charger enemy working in its full, um, uh, it's, it's full glory. After this, I spent some time trying to go back and clean up my scripts, as well as move my current animation system over to Unity's built-in animation system, which again, took some trial and error. One apology video later, and then I got to work implementing some new UI elements. Here, we got an unfinished heads-up display, as well as a basic dialogue system. This took me a little bit, but the end result, the fruits of my labor, my magnum opus? The dialogue system is more just an early placeholder. I'll probably have to tweak and rework elements of it, but this shows the basic concept of it. Now that I felt accomplished and proud of myself, I decided to tackle the next goal, creating a new enemy type. Yeah, yeah I know, I just felt chills down my spine too, 14 devlogs in and already two whole enemy types? I came up with the idea of a police enemy with the initial concept being that when you were in range, he would shoot at you. Now in concept, that makes sense. You have a gun, he has a gun, we all have a gun, this is America, dang it! However, the issue was just that it wasn't very fun. I tried to reduce his rapid fire to give the player more time to fire back, but it still just didn't do much for me. I spent too much time trying to dodge the bullets, and as a result, I could barely get a hit in. It occurred to me that the reason this type of gunfight works in a game like Galaga is because in Galaga, your hitbox in relation to a bullet is very narrow, giving you a fairly decent window of opportunity to move left and right, making narrow escapes. However, in contrast to Galaga, my game features the bullets approaching the taller side of the hitbox, giving you less time to react to bullets. Because of this, I needed to change my approach, focusing more on choreographing the enemy's incoming attack. This led to the quarter circle shot, where the enemy begins by shooting up or down depending on how your Y position compares to his, and then gradually brings his attack inward. Not only gives the player more time to attack, but also forces the player to dodge to specific areas depending on whether the police enemy is shooting up or down. I also added a taser attack when you get within a range of distance from him on the y-axis, which right now just looks like a moving oval. He can't do this attack more than once in a row since that wouldn't be very fun. Lastly, I have the general concept of a new enemy and I'm still working on its implementation. This is the shielder enemy. Wait, wait, no, this is, wait, I actually know what you got. This, this one, this one. Yeah, so the original idea was for it to be an enemy meant to solely accompany the police officers carrying a riot shield to deflect bullets. This idea was scrapped in favor of a hovering drone that would create a bubble shield to deflect bullets. While this idea was more interesting, the problem came when I realized that this is a 2D game, and therefore, bubbles don't exist. So if the player entered the bubble shield, it would damage either the shield or the enemies inside depending on what the bullet collided with first. This led to my most recent concept for the enemy, where it forms multiple shield parts to protect itself and the enemy inside if you attempt to attack from a distance. Each shield part doesn't take damage, but instead takes bullet hits, so two bullets would disable the individual shield segment across all seven of them. Anyways, that's about all the updates for now. Tune in next time for a video where I, um, I, I learn how to count to ten on one finger.